Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And uh, yes, we're in the corner of my bedroom next to my wife's purse. And I have not only the Versus Miner, but the Nerd Miner. And there's an update for this. Uh, I haven't released a video on it, so I decided to get that video out to you guys because we can improve the hash rate and functionality with the buttons thanks to BitMaker, which I will have linked down in the description. So let's switch over to the computer, show you how to update this guy to the latest one, and we will see what the improved hash rate is. Now, sometimes I'm also having issues because if you get this basic one, off of Amazon, you're gonna bump into thermal throttling, right? There's no fan on this, which is why Nerd Miners um, and Bitmaker recommend or have a fan on theirs on the left-hand side. There's really no airflow, and you wanna get some type of airflow for this chip to try to improve and sustain hash rate. So after a certain amount of time, especially during the hot days here in Florida, this number will go to zero because the chip has overheated. You could just restart the device and it'll be good to go, but we want to just resolve that and possibly get some type of cooling. We got two screws on the back here. Open this bad boy up and get some type of airflow on there and put it in a cooler spot in the house. But let's switch over to the computer and start the update process to get the latest version of NerdMiner V2 on here. So to interface with your computer, you're gonna need a type C cable of some type, type C to type A, type C to type C, whatever you can interface to connect your device to this computer. But uh, BitMaker makes it super easy. They go over the features in a video that I will have linked down in the description because they added various screens to it as well, like the global stat screen or the clock miner, which is very nice. Um, they also have quite a good community in the nerd miner group that hit over a thousand miners on a singular pool, which they're averaging around 50 terahash, which is not bad whatsoever. You can go get the files from GitHub, but again, BitMaker makes it super easy because now there's a web page for it. I believe the latest version is 1.6.0. Uh, if anybody from the nerd community or nerd miner community wants to uh, update me on that, uh, but I always like to just have this uh, just in case I want to play around with anything. So I just go to code, download zip, and extract that to anywhere I want. And originally, we would use the ESP tool to flash or load the various bin files and then flash the device. But uh, BitMaker makes it super easy to where all we got to do right now is plug in our device. And if I refresh this page, you'll see different drop downs. Uh, and they have 1.4, 1.52, 1.60. 1.60 .60 is the latest, but we're just going to choose latest version and then hit flash. Choose our device, shows up in the top left here, USB JTAG, serial debug, COM port 5, paired, hit connect. And now it's going to go through the flashing procedure. And it's actually getting above the hash rate that you see on this screen here, which is around 21. That's where we were at previously. Uh, that's what we actually see, I think, in an older video, uh, maybe 21, 22, uh, kill a hash. But we're getting beyond that with the latest version or latest update. So if you have a nerd miner, make sure to update your uh, firmware and see what you can get. We're definitely gonna need to do some optimization, at least as far as cooling. Uh, but they even had the Han Solo miner added, which this is the GitHub for it, if you have that miner or are interested in it. I'll have both GitHubs, including including the Easy Flash tool from BitMaker, linked down in the description. But let's switch over to the other camera so I could show you what happens when we start this thing up. Um, the configuration aspect of it is going to be linked in my original video uh, that this is an update to, okay? All right, we just plugged it in. You can see the version 1.6.0, and look at the hash rate climb up. It stabilizes around 45 kilohash, but as I mentioned towards the beginning, we're going to need to add some sort of cooling on this thing. Cool thing is, is the various features added by uh, the team. Right, we could see some information up there like the clock and everything. And if we hit this button and wait, top right button, we're gonna switch over to the clock miner. There we go. We can see the price of Bitcoin. We can see the current block height. And if we hit it again, I believe we get the global stats page. There's a delay, so just give it a minute. There you go, current block. Uh, the blocks to having does that really wow i didn't notice that that's pretty cool difficulty 52 terahash um and medium fee 22 sats price again and then your clock up there 
your hash rate of uh, the network hash rate right there and then if we hit it again we could wind up going back to the original page which is where we're averaging around 45 kilo hash uh, but I definitely need to get some cooling on this chip that's why the bitmaker team um, and the nerd miner community has those uh, custom you know created uh, 3d printed models with the fan on it and so we're just gonna go ahead and figure out a better way to cool it I just need to take off these two screws and then be able to open it up and then maybe make a custom case or I can buy my custom case uh, directly off of Bitmaker's website. Let's switch over and take a look at that. So I, I'm not 100% sure if this is Bitmaker's direct website, but if we go to bitronics.store, got everything you need here, info about the NerdMiner V2. We can buy the, the product itself directly from them um, or be linked to it, I believe. Let's go to shop real quick and see the various products. There it is right there, All right? So it's about 12 to 65 pounds, depending on the kit. Uh, we go to select options. There you go. So you can choose the color gray, orange, black um, case. We could do assembled standard black. It's going to be 59 pounds. Um, and I showed you the, the display or the unit that you can get um, through Amazon. I'll have that link uh, from my previous video in the description of this one as well if you wanted to. But these guys put everything together for you, get it up and running. The only thing you need to do is go through the setup process, which I will have linked going back to that original video that i did showing you the actual setup process where you go to put in your pool your wallet and all that good stuff but that's pretty much it if you have a nerd miner make sure you update because you're missing out on some hash rate and go give uh bitmaker and the nerd miner community a big uh like thumbs up maybe a subscription they are spanish so most of their content is going to be in that language uh but it's very easy to understand if you're hispanic in some form or another uh, and be able to communicate with the team out there. Plus, they got a Discord and a whole community that you can follow just as much. So everything's going to be linked down in the description, but that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification button to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And a big shout-out to Bitmaker uh, for making it super easy with their flashing tool on their website, which I will have linked at the top of this description. All right. Have a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.